Hey cat lovers and welcome back to another video. Today this video is for the boys. That's right, believe it or not, there are many interesting things about male cats that are unique to their sex. Even if you already know a lot about male cats, some of the facts we found might surprise you. Oh, and we would love it if you stick around until the end of the video because we have an exciting announcement. So without further ado, here are 12 surprising facts about male cats. Number one, they are more likely to be left pawed. We all know that humans can be left or right handed, but did you know that most cats also have a dominant paw? Now obviously cats can't write, and even if they could, they'd probably leave that work for the dogs. But cats can have a dominant paw when reaching for food, walking stairs, stepping over an object, and stuff like that. But it gets even more interesting because scientists have discovered that paw preference differs by sex. Females usually prefer their right paws, and you guessed it, males tend to prefer their left paws. In fact, a study found that about 52% of male cats had left paw preference, and 16% showed no preference at all. This left only 30% of male cats with a right paw preference. Number two, they have a shorter life expectancy. On average, male cats live one to two years less than female cats. Now, if you have a male cat, this isn't a reason for you to panic. Remember, this fact is based on an average, not a firm rule. Although the exact reasoning for the shorter life expectancy isn't totally clear, what we do know is that other factors are much more likely to determine a cat's life expectancy. One example is whether a cat is indoor or outdoor. According to WebMD, outdoor cats live an average of 2 to 5 years, while indoor cats typically live 10 to 15 years. And also, whether or not your cat is neutered is a big deciding factor, which leads us into our next fact. Number 3. Neutered males live longer. A study found that neutered male cats live 62% longer than unneutered males, and the reasons are pretty clear. For one, a neutered male cat is completely excluded from the risk of testicular cancer. A neutered cat is also much less aggressive, which means that he is not as likely to get in a cat fight. Fewer fights also mean the cat is less likely to contract deadly diseases, such as feline AIDS, feline leukemia, or feline distemper. This is because these diseases are often spread from being bitten or scratched during a fight. Needless to say, the less likely a cat is to catch a disease, the more likely they are to live longer. Number 4. They are not fatherly, with one exception. Most father cats don't show any interest in their newborn kittens. Instead, they leave the love and affection to the mother. However, the Siamese seems to be the exception to this trait. Siamese males are said to be more likely to show affection towards their kittens than any other breed. This is because there have been claims of Siamese males that have laid with and groomed their young. These claims shouldn't surprise anyone who is familiar with the Siamese because this breed is known for being extremely affectionate. The Siamese is also one of the few breeds that crave constant attention. Number 5. They have a mating call. Many cat enthusiasts have heard the distinct yowling that an unspayed female cat does when she's in heat. But it turns out that unneutered male cats have their own unique mating call known as caterwauling. They make this sound to tell female cats that they're available. Male cats also make this noise to let the ladies know that they heard their mating calls. Finally, they do it to warn other male cats of their presence in their territory. Number 6. They are sometimes called tomcats. Unneutered male cats are sometimes referred to as toms or tomcats. It's believed this nickname came from the popularity of a book called The Life and Adventures of a Cat. This book tells the story of a cat named Tom who is very promiscuous. Due to the popularity of this story, people started calling their male cats toms and eventually the term just stuck. It's also believed this is where the term tomcatting came from, which is a slang word for promiscuous behavior. Number 7. Male Maine Coons are supersized. In case you are unfamiliar, the Maine Coon is the largest domesticated cat breed. A male Maine Coon can weigh as much as 25 pounds while still being considered healthy. That's over twice the average weight of 10 pounds for a healthy domestic cat, with male cats averaging 11 to 15 pounds. The average full-grown male Maine Coon weighs 15 to 25 pounds and is 19 to 40 inches long. In fact, a male Maine Coon holds the Guinness World Record for the world's longest domestic cat. 
Barville lives with his owners in Italy. He measures 3 feet and 11.2 inches, which is longer than a baseball bat. Number 8. Most orange tabbies are male. Orange tabby cats, also called ginger cats, are far more likely to be male than female. In fact, up to 80% are male, making only 20% female. This is because the gene that produces orange fur is on the X chromosome. As a quick throwback to Biology 101, females have two X chromosomes and males have one X and one Y chromosome. Since females have two X chromosomes, female orange tabbies need two copies of the gene to become ginger, while males only need one. Number 9. Male cats have been known to kill kittens. This is the most disturbing fact on the list, so if you're squeamish, feel free to fast forward to the timestamp displayed on screen now. I'll give you a few seconds if you don't want to know about this. Although uncommon with domestic cats, wild male cats have been known to kill other cats' kittens and even their own kittens, and the reasons vary. One reason is that the male cats can confuse kittens for prey due to their small size and squeamish movements, which can trigger a cat's natural hunting drive, resulting in tragedy. Another reason is to reduce the competition in their territory. This behavior stems from instinct to kill a rival's young to keep the competition from taking over. A third possibility is because the kittens are not his and he wants to mate with the female so that she will have his kittens. Number 10. Male cats are more solitary. This is another fact that applies more so to wild cats than their domesticated brothers. But in the wild, male cats are usually more solitary than females. This is because males remain on their own to avoid having to compete for females in food. This solidarity is usually not the case for male domesticated cats because we neuter them which takes away their desire to mate. We also provide their food which takes away their need to compete for dinner. Number 11. The most popular male cat name is Oliver. A report based on the database records from Nationwide Pet Insurance found the most popular cat names. When comparing the Cat Fanciers Association's Registry of Pedigree Cats, Nationwide Pet Insurance's Policyholder Database, and FindCatNames.com's list, the most popular male cat name in 2021 was discovered to be Oliver. There must be something special about this name because it was also number one last year in 2020. If any of you have a cat named Oliver, let us know in the comments. Number 12. A male cat's temperament influences their kittens. Studies have shown that male cats' temperament can influence their kittens' temperaments, even if they have never met. These findings suggest that bold and confident fathers produce bold and confident kittens, while timid male cats can produce timid kittens. This suggests that the genes of the father may have a lot to do with the kittens' temperament. Which of these male cat facts did you find the most surprising? Let us know in the comments below. Speaking of comments, we have an exciting announcement. YouTube recently announced that they are launching a new feature called Super Thanks, which is a way to show extra support for creators such as us. Next to the share button, you'll see a new button with a heart titled Thanks. When you click on that button, you will have an option to purchase an animated Super Thanks. By doing so, your comment will be distinctly highlighted at the top of that video's comment section and will also be displayed with a special Super Thanks badge. The exact badge will depend on which Super Thanks level you pick. This is a brand new feature that is slowly being rolled out, which means not every channel has it yet. But the Purring Journal was lucky enough to get access at its early stages. So that's why you probably won't see this new button all across YouTube until the end of the year. Finally, we want to stress that this new feature does not mean that you are pressured in any way, shape, or form to buy a super thanks. We're just telling you about it in case you want to show extra support for what we do. After all, we have big plans for this channel, and your support is what helps us improve week after week. Well, that's it for today, cat lovers. Also, don't forget that we upload bonus content on Purge Days. The exact type of video varies, but most of the time it's something that your cat would enjoy. Like for example, recently we posted a cat TV episode that features nothing but squirrels for your cat to go nuts over. No pun intended. Anyways, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next Catterday.